In this video, Arduino-based spectrum analyzer will be demonstrated. The analyzer will be tested with different signals such as rectangular waveform and speech signal. A spectrum analyzer is a measuring instrument that displays signal amplitude in the frequency domain, in other words the spectrum of the signal. Each frequency component in the input signal, we call the harmonics, is displayed as a signal level corresponding to that frequency. Spectrum analyzers have a wide range of applications. They can be used to simply find the bandwidth of an input signal, or they can be used in a commercial application such as telecommunications to determine occupied bandwidth and track interference. A diagram of the implemented spectrum analyzer is shown here. We have the Arduino programmed to display a spectrum analyzer on an OLED screen. And the input signals fed into the Arduino are from two sources. One signal coming from a waveform generator in the form of a rectangular waveform and another signal in the form of speech signal coming through this uh, mic sensor. The spectrum analyzer uses a technique called fixed point fast Fourier transform where n number of points are used to calculate the FFT. In this first demo we input a square wave into the spectrum analyzer through analog pin A0. The spectrum of a square wave should be a sync function. We vary the frequency of the square wave noting how the main lobe of the sync function moves. Note that the maximum frequency that this spectrum analyzer can handle is approximately 4.5 kHz. In this second demo, we input a speech signal through a mic sensor. One useful application of a spectrum analyzer is to perform speech processing of an input voice signal and one area of application would be speech recognition. The program used for the spectrum analyzer is shown here. We have to include this library for the fixed uh, fast Fourier transform and uh, these are the variables associated with the FFT transformation. What's important here we have two string uh, arrays which are designed to store 128 samples one for the real part of the uh, spectrum and the other for the imaginary part of the spectrum. Inside the loop function this for loop is used to take 128 samples by reading the analog pin A0 and then storing the result in the real part of the uh, array and also the imaginary part of the array. Note that the imaginary part of the array is set to zero because the input signal is a real valued function. Also within the loop the maximum and the minimum values of the samples are stored. 128 samples of the input signal, the real part and the imaginary part are then sent to the fixed point FFT function. This function then returns 128 samples of real uh, spectrum and 128 samples of imaginary spectrum. Keep in mind that the spectrum is a complex function. Finally, this for loop is used to generate 64 bar graphs which are sketched on the OLED display. The graph reflects the spectral elements and components of the input signal. In a future video, I will modify the spectrum analyzer by using a bigger display, namely the 2.5 inch LCD display ST7920. Thank you for watching.